Singapore should set more ambitious targets than the planned timeline to phase out all petrol and diesel cars by 2040. The transport minister says it would be meaningful to have intermediate targets and work towards 2030. The comments came in an exclusive interview with the CNA documentary, Why It Matters. But, but countries like uh, UK or even the Netherlands, uh, they have 2035 or 2030 targets mm. to have only like no, no fossil fuel cars at all, not even hybrids, you know. Yeah. So why, why is it like a cop-out for us <laughs> to allow hybrids, <laughs> you know? Well, I think partly because we have a COE system, so we think in terms of 10 years, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's 2020, by 2040 is two cycle, no, two COE lifetimes. We will have a whole new generation of vehicles that run on cleaner energy, including hybrid. So I think okay. it's still fairly, fairly ambitious, given our policy of COE. Mm -hmm. um, but having said that, I think you're right. Um, we ought to have some more ambitious targets, intermediate targets, uh, that I think will be meaningful. Especially given what I said just now, cost is coming down, mm -hmm. charging infrastructure should be proliferating. So I think don't wait till 2040. Yeah, so I think think about yeah. some intermediate targets and you mm -hmm. don't want it to be straight line to 2040. How do we front load it a bit more? Okay. Yeah, so towards say 2030 to 40 is maybe the tail end. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just something we are looking at and we are discussing. I think it's ex exciting development happening. Mm -hmm. And you can catch the full interview on CNA's Why It Matters next Wednesday at 9.30 p.m.